summer and it certainly feels like it at some of Florida's beaches. We talked to some lifeguards today who have some tips if you plan to hit the ocean. The big thing we, we do run into this time of year is sea lice. That's uh, Lieutenant yeah. Dan Barnacle, and yes, that's his real name. He's been on the job for more than two decades and knows a thing or two about the ocean. So far, so good. We haven't had any cases. Other Florida beaches are starting to report sea lice cases, but it's too early to tell how widespread the infestation could be. Actually, jellyfish larvae. Uh, and they get under your bathing suit, and, and that's usually where the rashes start. April to July are the most common months for the tiny larva to appear. He says the best way to avoid a rash is to wear a tight bathing suit. Talk to the lifeguards, find out if they're in the water, and if your skin is sensitive, you're more likely to get them. And also, if you're allergic to bees, you want to stay out of the water because the likelihood is that you're allergic to the sea lice. He says you should also avoid seaweed like we saw in Delray Beach a week ago. Other bacteria could also trigger a reaction. If you do get the rash, he says over-the-counter anti-itch creams will become your new best friend. The biggest takeaway from those lifeguards is just to make sure that you're aware of your surroundings and if you experience anything on your body that's a little out of the ordinary, make sure you're contacting your doctor.